good morning. It is now the next video. <laughs> I just finished the last one. Like, if you're watching it, following on from that, I'm literally sat in the same spot where I finished the last video. It's 5 a.m. We're in Manila Airport and about to jump on the flight to South Korea to Seoul. Um, I'm going to stop doing the intro there because I'm really tired and struggling to talk. But enjoy this montage of getting on the flight. Now this is a good idea. Deposit your foreign money to PayPal. Amazing. South Korea. Never been here before. I have no idea what to expect really, but everyone's told me really good things. This is, I think, my 50th country. I'm not 100% sure. I need to count again. But I think it's my 50th country. Let's get going. Oh uh, yeah, so some of you probably already know this, but Rich was just in North Korea. <laughs> So we don't know if that's going to create any problems with immigration. Probably not, but let's find out. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> Okay, both just got through immigration, he made it, and we get a 90 day visa each on arrival, in the UK. I'm not sure what it is for other countries, but we're not going to use all of that 90 days anyway. Only here for a few weeks, and then off again. Right now we just need to grab our baggage, and then we're going to head off to the hostel. First things first. That's not English. Where is it? Where's the card? Okay. What? Well, that was the first unnecessarily confusing thing. <laughs> I need to get cash out eventually. Just trying to figure out the machine was tough. But got out 140,000, which is 100 pounds. Back to big money. So far, pretty impressed. It's just the airport, but it looks kind of futuristic. We need to jump on the train now to get to our hostel. I think Rich knows the details, because I have no idea where we're going. But we are trying to figure it out now. Thank you. Thank you. Just came out of the station and first impressions? It is cold. <laughs> I, this is the only jumper I've got, but other than that, just shorts and flip flops. I only had beach weather for a, quite a while now. I'm not prepared for this. But, we'll sort it out. Looks nice though, wherever we are. Kind of like London. Yeah. 
Okay, just checked into Bunk Guest House, which is behind me, and so far it looks really nice. We're here quite early, so we're not quite ready to check in yet. We're gonna go find some food and then come back and I'll show you around. So actually I contacted the owner of Bunk Guest House a few days ago to inquire about staying here in exchange for photos and videos and social media promotion. It's one of the highest rated hostels in Seoul and I thought staying in a place like that would be more beneficial to you guys as well that are looking and maybe coming to South Korea and checking out a dorm. So hopefully it's a partnership that works well. It looks really nice so far and I'm gonna try and give you guys an honest review of it. Check it out. Normal, normal, evil. <laughs> evil Spongebob. So far my impressions of South Korea, and we've only been to this one little area so far, which is Hongdae, is it seems quite similar to London. I mean just this area of Seoul, but there's lots of little coffee shops, lots of little hipster cafes, loads of little boutique clothes stores, and it's not really what I expected. I don't know what I expected, but it's cool. It's cool so far. The other impression I have is that it is very cold. I have not been used to this weather. I've been living in warm weather for the last two years and right now I'm freezing. <laughs> but I'll get used to that. I don't know what this is but it's cheap. Hey. Can I get one of the 1,000 ones? 1,000 ones? Yeah. One? <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Okay, thank you. So, I think there's a sausage in here somewhere. Yeah. There's sausage, batter, sugar, and sweet chili. Interesting mix, but it's pretty good. <laughs> How is your sausage, batter, chili, and sweet chili? And oh, mustard? Sauce on it. Mustard, <laughs> ketchup, chili sauce, and maybe banana sauce. <laughs> Great. It's not a mix you think of, but it's pretty good. Cheers. Teddy Bear's picnic. That's the caption. <laughs> After that little walk around, doing a bit of exploring around this area, just came back to our dorm room. Pretty nice. It's just like two little bunk beds in our own little dorm with a private bathroom. Pretty swish. I don't actually know what the plan is for the rest of the day. I think we're gonna go back out and have a bit more of an explore but right now, just gonna get settled in. Right, got all my camera stuff, my laptop on charge. I'm gonna go to the kitchen, have a noodle, and then we're going out again. Speak soon. plan really was just to walk around the local area around the hostel and that's what we did and it's brought us to this Catholic shrine it's called Giao Du San and from it there's actually a really nice view of the city skyline which is what I just showed you we really have no idea what there is around here we're just walking around and seeing what we can find which is kind of what I like to do the first day in any new place
we were just walking on the way back to the hostel and walked past a dog cafe. I've heard about these places, but never been one. Look, <laughs> there's one little guy. And the whole place is filled with dogs. <laughs> And so these are all the guys here, <laughs> with all their names. Yeah. Strawberry yogurt smoothie as well. Cheers. What are you doing? What's her name? This is Dan. Dan? Dan. Dan. I've seen it. Like Daniel. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. Bye. <gasps> this one's awake. <laughs> They're all quite gentle. They're nice. Yeah. <laughs> Say that again, please. <laughs> Look, he looks scared. Leave him alone. <laughs> Walking time. Interesting. First time I've checked out a dog cafe. At times they were going kind of nuts, but mostly <laughs> it was pretty cool. And I can understand why people do it. Now we're just gonna head back to the hostel, I think. It is freezing. I'm not prepared for this weather. We're gonna go back and chill out. We just came into this Bibin Bat place for dinner and it's basically like loads of assorted cold vegetables on top of rice with an egg. It was quite cheap for Korean food in Seoul from what we've seen. Just 5,000, which is about £3.50. And <laughs> the only issue is, if you don't finish your food, there's an extra 2,000 fine. You can take as much as you want, but if you leave food behind, you get a fine. And we didn't know that. <laughs> That's a big bowl of food. Yeah, wait, wait, that's, that's Richie's bowl. Mine's slightly less. But we still have a challenge on our hands. Let's do this. We're about halfway into this fight. How are you doing, Rich? Pay the fine. <laughs> He thinks he's going for the fine. I think it should be all right. But besides that anyway, it's really good. Like, bit of spice, bit of veg, rice. I like it. That's gonna help me to finish. To add insult to injury, you can go up as many times as you want. It's just that they don't want any food wasted, which I love that as an idea. So we could just keep going up. But if you leave any food, that's when you get fined. Unfortunately, they didn't advertise that before. <laughs>
I really just want to be involved in there. I literally got like half of your bowl. Yeah. It really feels like too much. <laughs> And the undisputed baby bamper <laughs> of the world is Jewel. Oh, <laughs> so what's your thoughts? Mm. I don't need to take out. <laughs> if not, I might have to take the final. <laughs> Throwing in the towel. <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> Begging for help. <laughs> This is it. Final leg of the marathon. The last spin for. <laughs> that is <laughs> a top Never effort. Champion. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that is a great effort. That was filled up. Good man. No fine for you. That would have been like one pound fifty, mate. Well worth it. <laughs> Just eat my own body weight and rice. Back to bunk guest house now, and I'm gonna clock out here. Really cool first day in Seoul. I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night and take advantage of the rapid Wi Fi, which I haven't had at all in the Philippines. But yeah, I think I'm gonna enjoy South Korea. It seems pretty crazy, but there's loads of stuff to do, and we've only just started, so check back for that. Tomorrow I'm going to find some warmer clothes and explore more of the downtown. But for now, thank you for watching and this is my life. Mm -hmm.